So yes, yeah, you'd like me to come in? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I promised. I promised my daughters that I would stay home today. Mom, hold on a second, Mia. So anyway, um, but if you need me to come into work, then I will. Mom, Mia, I'm on the phone. <sighs> All right, I'll I'll come in right away then. Okay, thank you. All right, bye bye. Bye. Okay, Mia, what did you want to talk to me about? Never mind. Something doesn't seem right. So, did you ask her? I couldn't. Why? Because... Because why? She was... Mom was on the phone when, um... I came to talk to her. I tried to talk to her, but she kept saying, I'm on the phone, I'm on the phone. Well, why didn't you talk to her when she got off the phone? I was going to. But she, but I heard a phone conversation, and she said that she was going to go into work. She promised to take us to the mall. I know. She never keeps her promises anymore. Ever since she got that new job. Yeah, I know. <sighs> she didn't even go to my choir concert. Why well, I went, isn't that enough? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mia. Mia? I'm Madison, you're Mia. See how upset I am? I can't even think straight. Well, what were you, what were you gonna say? I said, I was gonna say that Madison, it's not that you weren't enough. But I had a solo for the first time, and I really wanted Mom to be there for it. Yeah, I know. But I think you did great. Thanks, but it would have been even better if Mom was there. Yeah, it seems like Mom never has time for us. Maybe we should tell her how we feel. <laughs> Forget it. She won't listen. Girls, can I come in? It's your house. Girls, hey mom, hey mom, I bet I know why you're coming in here to talk to us. You're going to work, right? Yes, honey, I gotta run to the office for a few hours. What else is new? Is there something wrong, girls? No, just go to your job, though obvious, it's obviously more important than us. Now, what are you talking about? You two are the most important people in our life. <coughs> Liar. Okay. Let's have a talk. No, you're going to be late for work. I'll risk it. I want to talk to you girls. Now tell me what brought this on. Nothing brought it on, Mom. At least not suddenly. It's just that... Well, Mia was just telling me how upset she was that you wouldn't go to her concert. But I had to work. Yeah, I know. But I really wanted you there. And you had promised you would be there, and you lied. You said, oh, the, the um, boss asked me to work overtime. Every time the boss says, you answer every beck and call that he says. Listen. Listen, Mia. It's not that I don't care. It's just, just leave me alone. Yeah, go to work, Mom. We'll be fine by ourselves. In fact, we'll be better by ourselves than with you. Because when you're here, it's like you're not here anyway. So we're used to you relying on us to look after ourselves. Girls, just go, Mom. Go to work. They're obviously more important than us. Look, I will go to work. But this conversation is not going to be over. I'll talk to you when you get back. When I get back, I mean. Whatever. Yeah, just go. Do you think we were too hard on her? No, I think we were pretty easy on her, actually. I wanted to get up and scream in her face, but I knew that wouldn't have solved anything. Yeah, you are more outspoken than I am. Yeah, I know. So what do you want to do? Nothing. I just don't want to talk. You're not mad at me, are you? No, you know I'm not mad at you. You know I'm mad at Mom. 
about the concert? I mad at her in general. She never has time for us. And you said yourself you were upset because she's always breaking her promises. Like she promised she'd take us to the mall and then our stupid boss calls and decides she has to go in for work, to work. So, and mom doesn't have the guts to tell her boss, well, I have two girls at home that I need to be there for. No. <sighs> Look, I understand you being upset over this. Good, because I am upset. Okay. But <sighs> soaking and complaining is going to change the situation or help the situation in what way? You know, you got to stop acting like you're a therapist and I'm your client, okay? Well, I want to be a therapist when I grow up. <sighs> Look, Mia, I understand how you feel because I feel the same way. We're not acting like it. It's because I'm older than you. I mean, it's my job to counsel you. No, it's not. It's mom's job to counsel both of us. You take on too much responsibility. And I appreciate it, but at the same time I hate it because it's like, it's like you're my mom instead of mom. Well, what's wrong with me? Madison, you know what I meant by that. Can you please be serious? Look, sometimes joking around or being sarcastic is how I deal with things like this. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. I'm just so mad that mom just never she never is home come here <laughs> it's okay it's all right <sighs> what's the phone boop 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 mm. 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 hi mom Hi, why are you calling? Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Mia is very, very upset. Why? I guess she's still upset because you didn't go to a concert last weekend. She was really counting on you being there. But when I explained to, Mattis, to Mia about why I couldn't go there, she said she understood. Of course she said she understood. She didn't want you to feel bad, but you know what? I don't care. You should feel bad for not being there. She was counting on you. And to be honest, I'm mad at you for making me unhappy. How do you can hide it? You're unhappy with me too. Well, yeah, of course I am. But I'm older. I can handle disappointment. But Mia is still young. She, honey, you're only two years apart. Two years apart is a big difference when you think about it. And... Mia doesn't handle disappointment very well, and you darn well know that. All right, I do. Well, then stop. Then stop breaking promises to us, especially promises to Mia. You know what? I'm going to come home and have a talk with you. Fine, looking forward to it. So, when did mom say she was coming home? Well, it's been 10 minutes since I've talked to her, so she'll probably be home any minute. Girls, we need to talk. Do you have time to talk to us? Can you fit us into your busy schedule? <sighs> okay, I deserved that. I know, I know. I want to apologize to you girls for not being there for you. I thought that by working, I was being, I was going to be there for you. How is you working going to be there for us? How is you working being there for us? Well, I work so hard so I can give you girls all you need. We don't need um, material items. We need a mother. Yeah, and apparently we don't have one. I don't blame you for feeling that way about me. It is like I'm not a mother to you guys. And, you know, I love you girls a lot. And I'm sorry if I don't say it enough. You don't say that at all, let alone not enough. Well, I do love you girls. 
I guess I just figured that since you were growing up, you'd be able to handle me going to work. Are you saying we're immature? No, I'm not saying that at all. I just wasn't thinking that you guys need me. I told my boss to give me the rest of the week off so that I could spend more time with you girls. Really? Really? No emergencies? No emergencies. So, do you guys forgive me? You know, this is, we're not delusional. This isn't going to happen overnight. But me and Madison are willing to try. Yeah. Good. Come on. Let's go out for pizza. Pizza? You never let us eat pizza. Well, I'm going to make an exception. So, come on, get in the car. We'll be there in a minute. My gosh, Madison, what did you say on the phone call? Obviously the right things. Come on. Okay, I'll be there in a minute.